Hello viewers from around the world. How are you doing? How was your weekend? It appears it is not yet over with Imo State uh, governorship battle. Supreme Court is warming up, perhaps to undo their stupidity. I think they are trying to find a way to remove Hopuzo Dimma. Not very sure. But from the developments, of course, he climbed on a faulty and shaky premise. And that if left like that, things will continue to look like the Supreme Court is children's corner. <laughs> Each time I remember that judgment, <laughs> I remember children's toy room. Even toy room is better arranged. What a nonsense. First, the Supreme Court in its own judgment, that was on December 19, 2019, it stated that Uche Mosu had a double nomination. That allowed himself, uh, you know, to be nominated by AA and APC, same time. So, on that premise, the Supreme Court nullified the candidate of Uche Mosu based on double nomination. The question, if Uche Mosu was candidate of APC and AA at the same time, which party nominated the Supreme Court current governor, Hope Uzodema? On which political platform did he run the 2019 Imo governorship election? Please, somebody should tell us. Was he an independent candidate? Presently, a motion on notice has been filed at the Supreme Court. The motion on notice is for the Supreme Court to interpret its judgment of that December 2019. Uh, that the judgment said that Uche Mosu was the candidate of APC. So how comes? It appears Hope Zodema wasn't even in the election. The motion also seeks the courts to enforce the judgment sack Hope Uzodema as governor of Imo State and order the return of Emeka Ehedioha of PDP. Well, we are watching. But I'm feeling that that is why Ojo Zokalo made a triumphant entry into Abia. <laughs> Sorry, it was a twist of tongue. Oji way finish Abia State. I'm not talking about Abia, Oji, I mean. I'm talking about Emeki Hedioha who entered him a few days ago um, with the glory of the real election winner, not the Supreme Court governor. <laughs> I better go. Let somebody know. <laughs> Slap me. Now, let's even get to Abia State. I'm not going to talk about Ojo Zokalo's glorious arrival, but it amazes me that Abia people will be celebrating the victory of people who made them poor and wretched. People who kept money for infrastructure and upkeep of the state in their personal pockets. People who will still fleece Abia State if given another opportunity, if given another chance. Oh my God. I saw what is called a glorification of shame, robbery. People are killing you and you are clapping and telling them, Thank you. Could you imagine that? I was so sad uh, watching the nonsense. I said, I don't want to talk about it. I have not talked about it. Let the man go back to collect the constituency project money and continue since you people are happy. But why am I even talking about Abia State today? Is it because of the tweet of uh, Rufai's son? Now, here is what Erufaison said about Abia State, and I agree with him wholeheartedly. He tweeted as follows This is Abia State in Nigeria. The governor needs to address this. These people's life and livelihood matters. Look at the picture. <laughs> Look at the picture he presented. Well, I had Basha Erufai say things as it is. He is fearless. And is bold and outspoken and fond of calling out top politicians and leaders uh, to be accountable to the masses. Well, 
I will say his feet is not my problem. Whether he said it fearfully or drunkenly, the fact is that he is correct. Abia State is an eyesore. I went to Abia, Abba, the state capital, recently, and I what I saw got me worried. I even did a video about a year ago on Abia State and the stench. You know, the situation is so bad that people are dying. <laughs> people are dying. The mother will see go because of the smell in Abia State. If time will permit me, I will show us part of the video I did last year about Abia State. Last year, last two years. And there was an audio leak last year where a journalist was warned to report all he could, but not the current state of Abia State. Abia. You could you imagine? He was warned to keep off. You know, the government had their own media reporting their news. Such media will be taken to cover only areas that are fine in Abia. It, you could imagine that. The governor has to watch the video before it is sent out. Videos of such media. And this is not only happening in Abia state, but other states too. I'm focusing on Anibu. But I was amazed the other day on television. We get the current governor of River State, asked Wenga of AIT News, to come to River State to do investigation. And report publicly if he is working or not in River State. I don't know whether Wiki will associate Aka from us. I don't know, Matt, but Wiki told him to come. That was a nice challenge rather than threatening the press men to keep off reporting um, about Abba. I wonder if Nigeria is practicing the type of democracy we see in other parts of the world. And Southeast governors should be blamed for the conditions of our states. Of course, we know where and when to blame the federal nonsense of Nigeria. The state allocations, internally generated revenue, security votes, these are enough to fix our states. Let them stop making it look as if it is only about the federal nonsense. It's not just about the federal nonsense. The amount allegedly stolen by um, Theodore Oji and Sons plus Oji Carlos loot can go a long way to fixing things in Abia State. I had some people saying uh, the EFCC should not back down on Theodore Oji. Yes, support it. I and I concur with Basha Erufai. Abians have suffered in silence for so long. And it's a good thing other Nigerians from other parts of the country and are uh, Voicing their opinion and demanding positive change from the government. I command Basha Erufai for speaking up. Shame to Abia government. The stench of the state has reached Kaduna. <laughs> well, Abia government, you should quickly address the situation and restore the lost glory of the state. Put things in order and stop threatening the pressmen from profiling your state. We will continue to profile Abia. We will continue to show the dirty part of Abia unless you change. We are working towards seeing that Alibo is better. Let's stop blaming the federal government. Anytime you want to talk, they say the federal government is the problem. No, state allocations. Um, internally generated revenues can change things. Yes, if these governors are true, they, if they want to be true to themselves, if they want to be sincere, state allocations can change a lot of things. Let, let them stop deceiving us. Every time they want to make it look as if it's the federal government. Yes, we understand there are federal projects. There are federal roads. But do you know that Omahi Built some of the federal roads. Repaired them. We know the federal government has their own share in the blame. But you state governors, what are you doing with um, such monies um, that, are, you, you, that are generated in the state? That the like allocation you still get from the government? The federal. What are you doing with it? Could you imagine the amount um, Theodore and Sons stole? Is it not enough to fix up your state? And Ojiz, what are, add, add Ojiz, what are Ojiz, Ojiz or Carlos to too? And some people are 
glorify him as a return. Some people are hailing him. Fools. You are fools. He was saying you are part of the reasons these people are doing this thing. Somebody that is not worthy to become governor will come and campaign. They bribe you, you collect bribes, and you put them in office. They climb, they do whatever they like. And somehow, anti-graft agencies are, arrest them. And some, somehow, somehow, they, they, they got respite, and you people marvel. You people are happy about that. <laughs> you people amaze me. You people amaze me. Meanwhile, this is where we stop for uh, on this show. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, click on the bell icon to get our updates each time it drops. I'm Azoka Uzo OJ. Bye for now. Thanks for watching Ebo Area TV. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also click the bell icon. Like our Facebook page. Join our Facebook group. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Bye for now.